Yeah, Barbara Kerr, this is just a sad situation overall. Norfolk Public Schools confirming to me that that 10 year old girl was actually a student right behind me at Ocean View Elementary School. Meanwhile, we were also learning that White served in the Navy. Now, I spoke with one of his friends earlier today who told me that this is just a horrific situation for everybody involved. Is it lost to everybody? Jamal Brown is trying to process the news of his friend Nathan White the second white and a 10 year old girl both dead from a murder suicide happening at this home on West Ballview Avenue White's girlfriend the mother of the girl in critical condition as flowers and this balloon are put up outside the home when I heard about it I was out running I got a message from a, a close friend that I was and he was like I looked at my phone like hold on a second it's tough because this is unexpected this wasn't in his character. Brown tells me he served with White in the Navy aboard the USS Eisenhower. He says he remembers White as what he calls a pure person who loved everybody. He was a hard working person. He loved to joke around. He loved to work out. That was Nathan. He's a fun loving person. He says he didn't notice anything unusual in White's relationship with the woman injured. He never said anything like bad about her or, or that they were going through problems. So I have zero clue on that. Norfolk Public Schools also confirming the girl went to Ocean View Elementary School. In a statement, district officials say the division has activated its crisis team and will provide counseling support to anyone who needs it. We are heartbroken at the news. My heart really goes out to the, the family of the little girl because she'll never get a chance to do anything. For Brown, he hopes the woman makes a full recovery while everyone keeps both families uplifted. At this time, everybody needs somebody. Even if it's a complete stranger, everybody needs somebody to pull through this. I'm just hoping and praying that the young lady does pull through. That's the only way you're ever going to be able to know what happened. Nobody knows except him, the young lady that's fighting for her life, the daughter, and the man upstairs. Now, Barbara Kurt, we do want to point out that authorities have not released the names of either the woman or the girl. And when we were out at that memorial, as you saw, that was forming in the neighborhood earlier today, we happened to run into the father of that 10 year old girl. He does not have anything to say at this time, but we will keep you posted on any updates related to this case. Live in Norfolk, Zach Dahlheimer, News 3. Now, if you or someone you know, is a victim of domestic violence, you can call the national hotline at any time. That's 1-800-799-SAFE or text START 88788. Resources are out there, my friends, posted right now on our website at WTKR.com. And if you are in danger, remember to clear your browser history.